a lunar eclipse on Sunday night. Can't wait for this. Team 12's Rachel Cole has the details on what you need to witness the event. You don't need any technology or anything. You can just look up and, and think about our place in the universe. Kevin Schindler with Lowell Observatory and Flagstaff fanning over the simplicity of this Sunday's celestial event. The aura and the feel of seeing the moon getting covered over, you don't need anything special um, for it. You can just, anybody that can look up. He explains that while a total lunar eclipse is not all that rare, happening every couple years on average, they are quite unique. But every once in a while, the alignment is perfect to where Earth is exactly in between the two. And um, so you block the sunlight from hitting the moon. He says the last one visible in Arizona was back in November and really nothing to write home about. The last one was kind of, well, I wouldn't say lousy, but if you um, are not up late at night <laughs> because you had to get, get up in the middle of the morning, this one is about as about as best time for us here in the West as you, as you could hope for. Set your alarms, though, for 829 Sunday night. Schindler says that's when the eclipse will be incredibly vibrant yet ominous. The moon will be completely eclipsed and it'll be in totality for 84 minutes until 953. It's just funky and you can see why ancients um, were so superstitious about when this happened. They they thought something bad was going to happen. He says there's no bad moon rising, merely a catchy tune from the 60s and something good to look forward to this weekend. Rachel Cole, 12 News. So the Lowell Observatory is hosting a viewing party. Closer to the Valley, it's Astronomy Weekend at the Arizona Science Center in downtown Phoenix. And guests can enjoy a Sunday night viewing party of the eclipse. All those details you need about this event is inside the free 12 News app.